Oh, jeez. Oh, I've messed up. What do I do? How do I fix this? Ooh. <laughs> Why is this happening? What up, Flow Fam? Welcome back to my channel. My name's Lux Luminous, and today we are learning about recovery moves for our levy wanding. Yes, those moves that you need when you mess up. But that's okay, because nobody will know, because these recovery moves are so sick. So sick. You know, today I'm feeling a very teal vibe, you know, living my best teal life. And of course, I couldn't do that without a couple of my friends, the Weaving Witch, who made this epic top. And then my friend from So Lit Weave, who made these epic pants. I am so here for these. Oh my god. Yes. They did not pay me to wear these clothes. I just look good in them. Mm. <laughs> so today I was looking on the Lovey Wan page on Facebook. If you're not on the Lovey Wan forum page on Facebook, go ahead and join. I'll leave the link in the description down below. But I saw the cries for help from Jocelyn Morgan. The cries of what to do when you mess up. And today, my friends, I'm gonna answer that question for all y'alls. The thing that I think that really makes a good lovey wander is when you mess up, that you can recover with grace without even anybody knowing. And that's like the thing with lovey wand. You're always gonna mess up. It's always gonna go wonky. You're gonna hit yourself. It's gonna, you know, do something you don't want it to do. But of course, what we're gonna learn today is how to cover it up so people don't even know that you messed up. They'll be like, oh dang, that's a cool trick. And of course, before we jump into things, give this video a like, leave me a comment, and don't forget to hit those notification bells. That way you get notified when I post new content. And of course, we also have the wizards of the channel. And the wizards of the channel are Flow Toys, Astro Hoops, Matrix Fire Safety, Fun and Motion Toys, The Weaving Witch, Pyroterra Light Toys, and Flow DNA. Thanks, friends. Before we start things off, the top of my wand is red, the bottom of my wand is blue, so that way you can tell if my wand's upside down or not. All right, well, let's jump into it. So we are gonna go over one of my favorite recovery moves. I'm just gonna go ahead and lay it on you real quick. This is a fun one, I love doing it. It's called the illusion pickup, and I'm gonna show you the bend and snap technique. I may have just aged myself right there. It is my go-to move anytime I drop my wand or anytime I want to pick up my wand and look real cool about it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what that looks like. Oh no, I dropped my wand. Bend and snap. <laughs> All right, so what you gonna do? The levy wand has fallen on the ground. You are going to grab the ball handle and you're going to like force it up very quickly and it's gonna snap into your hand. Just like that. Super simple, but it looks really nifty. Bend and snap. Yo, legally blonde. Legally blonde. In case you want to know what that reference is. Kiddos. So my second favorite recovery move I'm going to lump all together is palm spins, isolations, and anti-spins. So I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. All right, love you ones all wonky. Shpoop. All right, palm spin, isolation, and anti-spin. So you don't have to do all three of those, but all three of them you can use separately. So you're gonna let the string flow through your fingers and then have the wand pull up to your hand. Kind of like a, I don't know, like a yo-yo. Oh, don't give yourself string burn. So once you have the wand pulled up to your hand, you're gonna grab it and you're gonna spin it. You're gonna wait for the top to be on top. You're gonna grab it and then back into wand mode. It kind of like resets it. So same thing with the isolation. So you're isolating. And then here it is on top, back into wand mode. Or you can do an anti-spin. So anti-spin, boom, back into wand mode. Haha, -ha. very slick. And if you want a deeper dive into all those tricks, you can go ahead and click this link right here. So another one of my favorite recovery moves is teeter-totters or body wraps. All right, so I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. So love your wand is all wonky. You get your knees in there. Kind of resituate the levy wand so it's kind of more vertical instead of horizontal. So you see how it's very horizontal right here. You're going to manipulate it up or kind of like force it up so that way it's kind of more on your wall plane. And you're just gonna kick it back and forth and you go back up into your hand. So it comes from up 
String, just like the last trick, string's gonna go through your fingers and up to your hand, whoop, just like that. Whoop, whoop. But you can also do this around your body too. So if the love you want is all wonky and weird, you can start doing body wraps or elbow breaks. Okay, so one of the more nifty tricks you can do to recover is actually go into a perch. So I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. Okay, it's all wonky and bam. Magical. All right, so your lovey wand's all wonky and weird. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna zero in on the top of the ball. And remember, the top's red. So we're gonna zero in on it. I'm gonna bring it around onto my elbow and kind of let it just kind of rotate up to my elbow. So of course, at this point, you wanna make sure to give the string a bit of tension. And once you have that tension to release it, make sure you dip your elbow into your tummy and off. Ta-da! So magical, la la la. And you can do that trick with either elbow. So if it's all weird and wonky, go up here. Boom. That's a little weird and bam. Ha ha. Okay, so the last trick I'm gonna show you is a little bit more tricky, but it's a lot of fun. So bear with me. So this trick is a baton flourish and we're gonna do a horizontal spin back into our non-dominant hand. Okay, follow me here. It's a good trick. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what this looks like. So the love you want is all wonky. You're gonna grab the center, you're gonna baton flourish, horizontal out, and bam. Ta-da! Ha ha! Pretty sweet, right? Told you, told you it was sweet. Told you. So the wand is all wonky. You're gonna snap it into your hand, just like the first trick. You're gonna make sure to grab the center. So at this point, it doesn't matter if the wand is upside down or not. So you're gonna point the wand down at the ground and you're gonna make a full rotation behind your head and then down and down. Okay, so do it with me. So rotation, there's a pedal behind your head and down. Okay, so we're gonna do that a little bit quicker. And as you do that, I like to just pinch it a little bit because it gives it that, that more like smooth. Of course, you're gonna need to do this a few times to get it down. So once we finish the flourish, we're going to hold the love you want horizontally. We're going to drop it down and let it spin. And we're going to catch it with our non-dominant hand and then back into wand mode. So if you do catch it on your non-dominant hand and it's upside down, just spin it and back into wand mode. Ha <laughs> ha! Make sure you're going out there and practicing. The more you practice, the more easily you're gonna be able to, you know, cover up a mess up. And that's what we're here for with Love You Wand. Covering up when the wand gets wonky. Huh. <sighs> Well, friends, if you're new or lurking, welcome to the wand life. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions at all, always leave me a comment down below and I will help you out. And this video, of course, is brought to you by my lovely Patreon supporters. If you want to become a Patreon supporter, you can head on over to my Patreon, where you can be involved in different things on my channel, or you can head on over to my website, luxluminous.com, where I have lots of fun Florence-related clothing, and every single bit of money raised goes directly into funding this channel. So that way I can keep bringing you more content. I love recovery booze. <laughs> See you all on the wand side.